Hi, my name is Ruth Werner, and this is my audiovisual sidebar to accompany my article, Skin Cancer, A Closer Look. In this short video, we're going to review the signs and symptoms for both non-melanoma skin cancer and melanoma. You probably got a lot of this in massage school, but of course, it never hurts to reiterate some of the most important things we will ever learn. I also want to point out that this video is an excerpt from a full 90-minute online self-paced continuing education course available at the ABMP Education Center called Skin Cancer Beyond the Basics. ABMP members can access that as a member benefit. Others can take the course for a very reasonable price. So here we go with just a quick look at the signs and symptoms of skin cancer. But I do want to refer you back to the full magazine article for that beautiful gallery of all the examples of the types of skin cancer that we are referring to. What you saw in all those pictures was a classic sign for non-melanoma skin cancer, that is, a sore that doesn't heal. Another thing that can happen is that a person might develop a sore, which could look like anything, a scab, a bug bite, whatever, flaky spot, that comes and goes in the same place. It usually doesn't hurt, which makes it easy to ignore if it's happening and it doesn't cause a lot of change in the coloration of the skin. It's easy to ignore, but obviously non-melanoma skin cancer requires attention. And because we see more of our client's skin than they do, we might be in a position to offer some important information about what we observe, as long as we are very careful about how we share that. And we'll talk more about that later. So we've been over the signs and symptoms of non-melanoma skin cancer over and over again. One more time, say it with me, a sore that doesn't heal. But for melanoma, we have a different presentation. Melanoma, wherever on the skin it appears, looks like a spot that's a different color, usually darker than the surrounding skin. It's not always black. It can be red or purple or blue. And of course, it could be multicolored. We often think that melanoma starts as a pre-existing mole. No, not that kind of mole. This kind of mole. And sometimes that's true. A mole we've had since childhood might one day change its characteristics and get larger or itch or grow hairs or bleed. But for people who have lots of moles and freckles, dermatologists recommend using the ugly duckling principle. Melanomas tend to look different from their neighbors. So be watchful for any skin marking that stands out as different from others that are nearby. But truthfully, most of the time, Melanomas arise as new growths. These often happen in areas where the skin has been subject to repeated sunburns, but not always. As we have mentioned, skin checks are a really good early detection tool, but we have to be sure to check all the skin, even on the bottom of the feet and in between the toes and in between the fingers. I am super glad to have found this graphic and to be able to share it with you because it provides a really excellent compare and contrast opportunity so that we can tell the ABCDE story. As we know, A stands for asymmetry. And in this picture, you can see on top, that on top, we have a picture of a very ordinary looking nodule. It's hard to know what it is exactly, but it's basically round and symmetrical. On the bottom, we see a lesion with all kinds of asymmetries. It has arms reaching up and out. It's going northeast. It's reaching out to the southwest. It's branching in all kinds of directions. It is asymmetrical. B is for borders, and you'll see this graphic calls these borders even or uneven. I prefer the adjective distinct or indistinct. In the top picture, we can see a definite point at which the skin changes. We have normal skin, normal skin, normal skin, boom, mole. But on the bottom picture, look at this. We have these scalloped edges. Sometimes they're clear, sometimes they're fuzzy. Here on the bottom, it looks like it's sort of reaching out below the surface of the skin. 
So do you see what I mean by these indistinct borders? That is a warning sign. C is for colors. Melanomas typically have more than one color or at least more than one intensity of color. So on the top here, this is a freckle or a mole. It's all the same shade of brown. And on the bottom, we have darker brown fading to lighter brown. It's a little red around the edges and here on the lower right corner. When we see mixed colors in a growth, this again is a warning sign. D is for diameter, and without some kind of measuring tape or markings here, it's hard to show exactly what this picture demonstrates. But I can tell you that basically if a new lesion is bigger than about a quarter inch across, it's something that should probably be looked at. That said, when I once visited a dermatologist and I showed them my biggest mole, which is about half an inch across, they said, well, that's boring. What else you got? And then I showed them a tiny pinpoint sized black spot on my abdomen that had kind of a dense texture that felt like it reached in deep. And they said, yep, that's coming right off. It was benign, I'm happy to say, but it was alarming at the time. My point is not all suspicious lesions have all of the ABCDE characteristics, but we haven't talked about E yet. Way back when I was in massage school, E stood for elevation or elevated. But as we have seen, not all melanoma lesions protrude from the surface of the skin. Since then, we've replaced the E with the term evolving, which is much better. Melanomas change over time. Often they might start slowly and be really subtle, but as with other types of cancer, they can then become increasingly aggressive, like we saw with that person who had the nodular melanoma on his face. In this picture, we have another nice demonstration. On the top, we have a pretty typical distribution of moles. And on the bottom, this could even be the same person, couldn't it? Some of the moles look very different from the others. They are evolving. And of course, this is a warning sign. So that was a very quick review of the extremely important signs and symptoms of basal cell carcinoma, cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. And it is just a tiny preview of skin cancer beyond the basics. I hope this video and the two articles, Skin Cancer, A Deeper Look, and Skin Cancer and Skin of Color, have been helpful to you. And I will see you next time.